Flow limitation is associated with excessive daytime sleepiness in individuals without moderate or severe obstructive sleep apnea. Excessive daytime sleepiness, or EDS, is the difficulty in staying fully awake or alert during waking hours. It is a common symptom of obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA. In OSA, breathing is repeatedly blocked, partially or completely, which can lead to decreased sleep quality and quantity. The severity of OSA is traditionally gauged by the Apnea Hypopnea Index, or AHI, which reports the frequency of respiratory events per hour. Interestingly, the severity of OSA is not necessarily correlated with the degree of daytime sleepiness, which highlights the need to better understand and quantify the factors contributing to EDS in patients with OSA. The researchers hypothesized that flow limitation, which is an objectively determined mismatch between ventilatory drive and achieved airflow, is an important contributor to sleepiness in patients with low AHI, less than 15 per hour. The study aimed to investigate the association between self-reported sleepiness and flow limitation in individuals with an AHI less than 15 events per hour. Using data from a large community sample available from the Multi-Ethnic Study of Atherosclerosis, or MESA, researchers analyzed the polysomnographic data from 772 individuals. They used a previously described automated method to estimate the proportion of breaths considered flow-limited as measured via a nasal pressure sensor. Excessive daytime sleepiness was defined as those with an Epworth sleepiness scale score of 11 or greater. The study included a relatively diverse cohort, including black, white, Hispanic, and Chinese American men and women. Flow limitation was found to be a significant and independent risk factor for sleepiness in individuals with low AHI, less than 15 per hour, or those without moderate or severe OSA. This association held true when accounting for age, sex, BMI, race or ethnicity, and average sleep duration. This study contributes evidence to the perspective that flow limitation, even during respiratory event-free sleep, may contribute to decreased sleep quality and sleep fragmentation, resulting in daytime sleepiness. The previously not measured flow limitation component of sleep disordered breathing may contribute to sleepiness in a way that is not captured by the AHI or other conventional metrics. Considering flow limitation in patients with excessive daytime sleepiness and low AHI, less than 15 per hour, may allow clinicians to better identify which patients are more likely to see their sleepiness resolve with treatment of OSA compared to those less likely. Addressing flow limitation is a possible approach for managing excessive daytime sleepiness in people without moderate or severe OSA. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Mann and colleagues. Thank you for watching Annals Animated.